now here in Cannes for the Cannes Lion 2016 Festival of, of Creativity and, and we've been seeing some amazing examples of how data, technology and traditional marketing communications are coming together to do something new and interesting and in this particular case something that's really truly worthwhile. I'm delighted to say I'm joined by Hans Christian Schwing for the Chief Brand Officer for Deutsche Telekom. Thank you very much for Thank finding you. some time to talk to us and you have just presented uh, the case study of you know the first three months I believe of, of a game called Sequest Hero which is one of the largest experiments ever to use uh, consumers to, 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 to gather data to find a cure for dementia and for, for Alzheimer's. So, I mean, how on earth did you, you know, come across a project like this? Well, I think based on our core business, which is about selling access and tariffs, yeah, it's not possible to differentiate a brand any longer, mm. especially within the telco branch. So we were just thinking about whether there would be another possibility in order to stage the power, yeah, be it the power of the network, power of our services, also our promotional power uh, for something which is really relevant, yeah, uh, let's say, uh, for real world issues. Yeah, so the brief we had was just based on our core uh, of the brand, which is life is for sharing. So that's uh, a kind of, um, you know, message or mission yeah, we fully believe in and that was the, uh, the core brief which we sent out to the agencies. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and in terms of, you know, being able to use and harness the, the, this kind of the power of your brand and, and harness your consumers to do something that's really, truly positive, that, that must be an interesting change from, from, I guess, traditional marketing communications. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so when I visited the festival theatre on Saturday, I was a little bit, um, let's say, frustrated. Yeah, uh, when I realized that, in my opinion, 80% of the stuff I saw was rather based on raising awareness for topics. Yeah, so for example, thinking of Parkinson, yeah, or uh, migraine. I mean, um, without any doubt, these are important topics. But the question is, how can you really help uh, to engage people yeah, or to empower them to do something? To, to, in order to, to come up with some relevant changes. And uh, that's why we fully embraced um, working together with these scientists and the experts. We all brought them together because there was one thing lying on the table for us, the, the wish, the necessity to come up with an idea which would really change dementia research. But there's been a huge I mean, amount of success, you know, the downloads are really strong and it, it sounds, you know, like it's having a really positive impact that the universities you're working with are really happy with it. And it's, you know, it's something that is, a, I guess, started as an experiment, but it's something that you're, you're happy with the way it's gone. It was completely new for us, mm -hmm. so there's no uh, reference case for us, yeah. you know. For example, um, uh, guys, I, I never knew people from dementia uh, uh, research. I didn't knew these kind of neuroscientists, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I hadn't been dealing with uh, guys from University College London, etc., etc. So this was completely new. Yeah. And I think uh, what we experienced about this is nothing you can just translate to any other project to come in the mm -hmm. future time. So it really depends on the brief and what came out of the brief. So mm -hmm. this is really a unique project. Yeah. And, and it, it's unique in the sense that it's also it's moving forward what we traditionally think of as creativity, I suppose, because, you know, what, what, what was often fated and celebrated at a place like Cannes was often a, a 30 second TV commercial or a beautiful piece of print or poster artwork. This is something that involves an app, a game um, that there was print, there was advertising around it, but there was also, you know, the data collection. And it, and it, it sort of seems to touch the whole myriad of, of the, you know, the new possibilities now. And do, do you think that this shows where creativity is moving towards now for, for brands uh, I'm not quite sure to be honest yeah because I can't f I can't just embrace all uh, for example the lines which uh, uh, have been <laughs> you yeah. know uh, delivered um, I think I still think that most of the stuff you can see is based on raising awareness as I said some seconds ago um, I would rather go for things really trying to to engage people and to try to change things and I think this is the next big step which needs to be done within marketing communications as well so awareness uh, that's that's uh, that's not the major issue uh, for future times we're, um, we're here on the, the beautiful roof terrace at the Martinez Hotel. It's it's a wonderful, beautiful, sunny evening, as I'm sure you can you can tell. How, are you enjoying Cannes this year? What what, what are your takeouts so far? What what do you think's been interesting? You've you've noticed so far. Yeah, 
Honestly, it's my third day now being here. Uh, so I traveled here um, to Cannes on Saturday and Sunday. Now it's uh, Wednesday and Thursday. So my, my calendar, I need to say, is quite fully booked. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so this is the very first time that I even see the sun. Uh, oh, wow. yeah, we're wow. missing it in Germany. That's why I'm really <laughs> loving it now to sit here on this uh, um, rooftop. Uh, but I, I think, yeah, um, altogether, it's a great place to be Yeah, in order to, to, to breathe in creativity. Um, and um, at the same time, um, getting the opportunity to stay on uh, to get on stage and really to mission people uh, uh, for the things we do because you know just um, just um, uh, um, listening uh, to to for example things going on here in the theater that that wouldn't really um, uh, make me happy so um, I really need to have my own possibility my opportunity to talk to people and really to 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 spread the word around uh, about what we do. Absolutely. Well, well, I hope it's I hope it's fruitful. I hope it's an enjoyable couple of days or however long you're remaining still in Cannes. And um, thank you so much for your time talking to us. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. We've just spoken to Hans Christian Schwingen, the Chief Brand Officer at Deutsche Telekom, who's told us about a fascinating game, the way that data is being used to combat dementia and learn more about the human mind. And now we're going to talk to a couple of the agencies behind us. So, ladies, could you introduce yourselves for our viewers? Uh, Claire Shaw from Sachi & Sachi London. Carrie Jackson Clinter from Mediacom International based in Düsseldorf. Well, thank you for thank you for joining us. We had a fascinating presentation of, of the project in there, uh, See Hero Quest, and uh, I think it's raced from you know naught to hundreds of thousands of downloads almost instantly. Ha what do you think have been the key ideas to making it such a success? I think we started with um, trying to really bring to life what the brand was about, which was life is for sharing. And um, we started with great things happen when people start to share. And if we could execute that, then we'd do something great. And um, a, a really simple insight, which was there is billions of hours spent every week in the world uh, gaming. What if we could harness that for good? Great things happen when people start to share. Carrie? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. From a media perspective, I think um, what's what's been really fascinating for us working with Deutsche Telekom and especially working with Saatchi is that we start literally from the get-go, working hand in hand. So unlike a lot of others where the creative is worked all the way to the finish and it's perfect and it's beautiful and ready to go out and then media starts getting involved, we actually were involved from the very beginning. So uh, talking about what is the target group, who should we be talking to, how should we be talking to them, um, that was completely seamless between Sachi and ourselves from the very beginning, which I think was sort of a key to making it successful. I mean, is that unusual? Is that more of a, more of a common way of working between the two types of agencies now? Or, or you know, is it still sort of tend to be, well, like you said, you know, that the creative process is almost completed and then handed over to sort of media agencies and companies? I think for, for us, I can only really speak on our behalf, um, it's a common way. We've both been on the businesses a long time. We know each other well and we know our teams and our strengths. And we use each other to those strengths to help make ideas bigger, better, stronger. And working together wouldn't... Um, cause any trouble because of the strong relationship that we have with each other and with our clients. And, and I don't think that's standard in the industry. I think there's still a lot of, um, I don't know, more, more old-fashioned ways of working between creators and media and obviously it's, um, you know, the closer you are, uh, the more ideas you can share, the more you can bounce off of each other, um, the better off. You know, you can push a, a campaign or a brand forward. Mm -hmm. and, and from the perspective of creativity, and that's obviously what we're, we're all here for, this is a festival of creativity and celebrating great work. Do you think that takes campaigns to the next level then, being able to sort of think about the, the, the campaign in terms of media and distribution, and data and all of these things from the outset, rather than just, you know, thinking about, uh, I, I guess, sort of traditional creative assets? Yeah, I think one of the really great things about this campaign was that it wasn't just a traditional campaign, it wasn't just a traditional idea, and we needed to milk every single channel in the right way, talking to the audiences. And that's one of the first times I think we've really used influencers across the territories, across the markets, to the best. And we did that. We couldn't have done that without Mediacom. And other, other areas of the campaign, they just made it better. They just made it better, they made the reach stronger, and they, you know, helped take the results probably from a, a normal to an extremely successful campaign. Yeah. And no matter how much you think about data or you think about what you could be doing with data, everything always comes down to that core idea. 
and Sachi had an amazing core idea, and being able to build on that then then made the difference. Um, but you have to have that creativity, you have to have the human touch um, and the insight that allows you to come up with that creative idea. And that's what Sachi brought <laughs> in, in droves to the table, um, and we were we were really happy that we were able to then build on such a great great idea. Mm-hmm. And, and what what comes next for the for the campaign for the game? You know, is this something that's going to continue to be available, presumably still for download, um, and and over the rest of the course of the year? So we just launched um, phase two um, uh, on Friday, and it's got two new worlds in it, and a new scientific uh, test as well called the radial maze, and a few more uh, scientific questions to try and help the scientists. And the new worlds are a lot, a lot harder. So if you played the three worlds already, these ones are a lot harder, and um, may take a bit longer for people to complete. But we'll learn so much from it, especially from the personal data. So the first, uh, the, the first phase, we asked questions like age, what country are you from, what age you are. Now we're asking you, are you left or right handed? Do you navigate? How do you consider your navigation? Do you travel a lot during a day? What's your education? There's lots of questions that we'll be able to learn so much more from and the scientists then will be able to even go deeper with their benchmarking. And the scientists are going to need a lot of time to get through all of that data. So some of the largest studies they have done have been just a fraction of what you know, is now on their table in terms of the amount of data that they can now sift through. So they're talking, you know, five years maybe before they've actually even started getting lots and lots of results out of it because they're going to need that time to to analyze and work through the data. So I think it's going to it's going to still go for, go on for some time, especially in terms of what it's bringing to dementia research. Well, it was a fascinating project, and it sounds a really interesting, you know, progressive way of, of agencies working together as well. And we, we, you know, be good to hear how it's kind of going in six months, you know, a year's time, and and hearing how maybe in you know a year's time in Cam we'll be hearing more about it. But thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.